Thank you so much. Our second innovators are working with data. They say data is the new oil, and this company is developing a tool to provide data to decision makers more quickly. Please welcome Florian Seibel and Claudio Steinhoff from Quantum Systems. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Quantum Systems was founded in uh, 2015 as a drone manufacturer and as a spin-off um, of the University of the German Armed Forces here in Munich. Today, we are 150 employees and we are funded by several investors um, and venture capitalists. To build the next generation of our products, we started to invest heavily in software. It is our vision to automate, fully automate data collection processes and to become the global leader in AI-powered real-time aerial surveillance. Following this vision, we are also committed to serve both commercial clients and government clients, but to apply commercial development speed also to the defense industry. We started as a commercial hardware company, providing high-resolution imagery for agriculture, forestry, and mapping. Our largest customer is the country of India. The Survey of India uses our technology to map all rural areas and they are building a catastrophe system throughout the whole country. I quickly realized that our technology is dual use and now MOD around the world are eager to profit from it. It's the same technology but built with commercial speed. With our commercial development speed, we converted a minimum viable product into a combat-proven system within less than a year. Our core hardware was already available at the beginning of the Russian invasion. But it became obvious very quickly that the unequal balance of power between Russia and the Ukraine could only be overcome with smarter and networked systems that provide an information advantage. Hence, we needed to further develop our software as the hardware was already in combat and changes were not possible anymore. Today, we deploy new software releases on a monthly basis. Things we needed to cope with were, for instance, electronic warfare and GPS denied scenarios. The biggest enabler for us was an immediate connection to the Ukrainian battle management system using Signal Messenger app and Starlink. Now let me take you to Ukraine and see firsthand what that looks like today. Take you to Ukraine and see firsthand what that looks like today. We are located now about 30 kilometers from the front line. We will initiate mission planning and after an automated takeoff, the ISR mission commences. After reaching the mission area, the system automatically will start looking for potential targets. The operator then selects a valid target, and after a positive human confirmation, the position data get transferred to the Ukrainian battle management system via Starlink. The Ukrainian artillery will now fire. In case of a miss, a correction is now instantly possible. This sensor to shooter loop used to take about 30 minutes and we today can do it in about 30 seconds. This is a huge improvement, same hardware, but very powerful through a connection in smart software. But this is not the end of our story and not the end of our pitch. Um, as the next step, we envision a scenario of drone swarms that are automatically deployed using a network of our robotized drone port technology. AI capabilities on board the drones will reduce human interaction to a minimum and allow for automatic data intelligence, data collection and analysis anytime and anywhere. For instance, is it, our, it is our vision to provide an automatic um, border protection solution the border, for instance, between Ukraine and Russia of approximately 2,000 kilometers would require 50 drone ports at a total cost of less than 40 million euros. 
This solution would provide real-time aerial intelligence, even if the, if the sky is covered and the satellite won't do the job. There's a clear need for legacy tanks, as we heard today, jets and ammunition. We are well aware that quantum systems cannot disrupt the entire defense industry, defense industry by ourselves. But there are ways for all of us to be 10 times better. That is, connecting world-class hardware with smart software. With the Cyber Innovation Hub, we have a nucleus to start from. Can you imagine Sven sitting here, brought the Cyber Innovation Hub with just 10 million to what it is today? Can you imagine what we could do together if we would give that guy not 100 billion, but 100 million, and what he could do with that? I think it's time for a Zeitenwende for the Cyber Innovation Hub. Thank you very much.